Hello, in this video, I would like to talk about vocabulary force between two glass plates with one edge in contact at a small angle. A familiar phenomenon caused by the surface tension and was involved in our textbook is the rise of the meniscus in a capillary. And in the textbook, we get expression of the height. Today, we will see a further interesting problem based on this one. This is an exercise in our textbook. There are two glass plates with one edge, in contact at a very small angle. They insert vertically into a water pool, so the water rises in the gap between the plates due to the capillary force. And in the exercise, it's predicted that the profile of the wet in front satisfies that y is inversely proportional to the x. Now, let's do this interesting experiment. I added little milk and soy sauce in the water to make the liquid front easily be seen and clamped two glass plates. On the left side, there's nothing was between the plates, so the angle is zero. While well, I insert the cards into the right side to get an angle 0.45. Then vertically inserted plates into the liquid and recorded it. The next step is to analyze the data. We choose the picture after one hour to make sure the system is steady. On the picture, we uniformly choose 20 points on the front and measure their locations. After fitting the data, we are excited to get that y equals 784.11 over x, and the coefficient of determination is so close to 1. That means we are almost perfectly to get y is inversely proportional to the x. On the other hand, we can also analyze this problem theoretically. For simplification, we assume the complete wetting for water and glass plates. That means the plates are already covered with a thin film of liquid before the rain. This we need to consider the substantial of water and the substantial of water air interface. Here we ignore the change in the area of the liquid gas interface. An interface free energy was calculated by using total surface tension times the interface area. At the same time, we need to calculate the gravitational energy. Let's first consider unit volume. The gravitational energy of a unit volume equals the average pressure of the unit times its volume. And integrated, we can get the total gravitational energy. At last, the equilibrium condition gives us the change of the total energy is zero. Therefore, we can get the expression of y. Excellently, both the theoretical and experimental results are matched that y equals a constant over x. Then, let's talk about this constant. In the experiment, we can easily transfer this constant from the millimeter unit to the meter unit. According to the theoretical results, we can easily get a constant, but in reality, we can't get complete wetting, and we find the contact angle of the water and the glass plates should be 50 to 60 degrees. So we can modify this constant by times the cosine function and finally get a range. Let's compare these two constants from the experimental and the theoretical results. It is easily being seen that them match each other in order of the magnitude. An experiment we didn't use the pure water, so that the little difference I think is acceptable. To the end, both our experimental and theoretical analysis are reasonable. Thank you for watching this video.